Dogs can be fantastic friends and wonderful companions. They provide people with unconditional love and they can be your friend for life. However, dogs do rely on their owners to provide everything they need to be happy and healthy in return. Often young children like to convince their parents that they would help to look after a dog in the home, but we find that this is often not the case and sadly too many dogs are unwanted and left abandoned on our streets every year. Stray dogs are a problem for the council because they, they cause fear and alarm in the minds of members of the public. I'm sure we're all familiar with the idea of, of dogs running around and barking and chasing other dogs and I'm sure we've all had the experience as well as a, a stray dog running in front out of our car and we're having to, to break suddenly. So there's lots of issues surrounding it. From an environmental perspective, stray dogs are also causing problems in terms of scavenging through bins, causing dog fouling and producing a lot of unwanted noise in terms of barking. Our figures for stray dogs indicate that over 250 dogs were abandoned on our streets in the last year. This figure does tend to increase around about the Christmas period and in that period what we tend to see is that puppies are abandoned along with older dogs which tends to suggest that some people are getting puppies as Christmas presents that tend to be unwanted or indeed that they're getting rid of older dogs to accommodate new puppies. We at the Dogs Trust find that we have lots of puppies return to us as big boisterous adolescent dogs who have outgrown their puppy phase. Some fi families find them difficult to deal with once they become bigger dogs and they need even more time, money and commitment spent on them. Buying a dog is a serious commitment that you're making towards the dog. It will change your lifestyle. Um, you will not be able to do the same things before as you, you will once the dog arrives. At Dogs Trust Glasgow, our dogs come as handovers from members of the public. People bring their dogs to Dogs Trust Glasgow for a variety of reasons, but the main reason we find is that they didn't realise just how much time, money and commitment was going to be involved in looking after their dog. Time-wise, dogs need two walks every single day, at least two walks, even in the rain. Some families might find this difficult to provide. Dogs also are very expensive. The average dog can cost up to £10,000 in their lifetime. Commitment-wise, dogs really rely on their owners for everything. We have to provide everything they need to be happy and healthy. You must think very seriously before you buy a puppy. And when you come to the conclusion that that's something you're going to do, then only buy from a licensed breeder. The alternative to that would be to, to come to somewhere like Dogs Trust or the SSPCA where you could rehome a dog. When people are thinking about getting a dog, it would be great if they would consider giving a dog a second chance, coming into Dogs Trust and looking at the dogs that we have here available for rehoming. We have dogs of various sizes, various ages, who are all here through no fault of their own. There is no longer a requirement for a dog owner to have a licence, but there is a duty of care placed upon anyone who is responsible for a dog to ensure that the dog's welfare needs are being met. From that point of view, you must exercise the duty of care to make sure that the dog that you've got, you're keeping it in good conditions, a satisfactory environment, that the dog is being properly fed, properly exercised, and that the environment in which the dog's lived in is, is enriched through toys and attention. So if you want to be a responsible dog owner, then you need to be a caring dog owner. When people visit Dogs Trust Glasgow, we ask them to fill in one of our rehoming questionnaires. That asks them lots of questions about their home, their family and their lifestyle, such as who lives in the house, do they have children, do they have other animals, other dogs or pets? And we want to see that we can match the family's home to the right dog. We want to find the best possible home for our dogs. All dogs that come to live at Dogs Trust Glasgow are neutered and microchipped. Dogs Trust believes that this will help to reduce the number of stray and unwanted dogs in Scotland. Not all dogs found in the street are abandoned. Some may simply be lost. Dogs Trust would like to remind people that dogs need to wear a collar with an identity tag at all times. That identity tag should have the owner's name, the owner's address and the owner's phone number so that we can contact them should their dog be lost. My advice to anyone encountering a stray dog is do not approach. The, the dog could be dangerous. You just don't want to place yourself at any harm. We have professionally trained dog wardens who can deal with that type of incident and it's far better that we leave these types of things to the professionals. So please don't approach any dog that you suspect might be stray. In some respects we're quite fortunate. Of the 250 dogs that are collected by South Lanarkshire Council, about 80% of those dogs go on to be returned to their owners or are successfully rehomed. If you choose a dog from Dog Trust, the aftercare with that dog is lifelong. If you need any advice, any help at all, 
our staff are here to help you and to help the dog settle in well to its new home because a dog is for life, not just for Christmas.